Hey everyone, welcome to Something Old, Something New Car Rips. Today is Monday, so we're doing a Monday mix. I actually didn't get a subscription box in, so I got some hobby packs I picked up the LCS, and we're going to see what we can do out of that. It actually worked out pretty nice because I spent exactly $50 on the hobby packs, and we'll see which one we'll pull the best out of there. We'll do like a little matchup. But first of all, I got some stuff I picked up this week. So I got some eBay stuff. I was in a... Uh, Team break on Collectible Car Club. I bought some stuff off of Apex cards and uh, Papa J cards. I was also in a team break as well. So start off with the Collectible Car Club. This is just a little uh, like a forum website. It's kind of cool. It's got lots of different things on there. But they also have a right now they're doing a monthly break. So I got a couple teams in there. Actually, sort of how it works is you get one team and then you draft a team. So I got the Rockies and I had the Blue Jays. And who else did I have? The Mets. And I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember the other team. But uh, so I got this Diamond Relics card, Nolan Arenado. Out of opening day. And then probably this is probably the best other card I got. It was this Nate Pearson rated prospects, numbered out of 149. So not a lot of fire in those boxes. Some people who hit some nice stuff. There was a there was a pack of tops. Oh, shoot, I can't remember which one was in there, but uh, someone that has three cards in there. I'm not throwing on a blank in my head right now. I'll remember as soon as I get done with this video. But in that pack, there was two Dodgers and one Pirates card, so I didn't get any of those guys. And here's some eBay pickups. Ronald Cunha Jr., Toss Magazine, just 1985 style, Daryl Strawberry, uh, 80, what is it, 81? 82, Donruss, Diamond Kings, Nolan Ryan, Trevor Story, Rated Rookie, Purple. Jacob DeGrom, Optic, Donner's Purple, and a Corey Seager rated rookie card. I think people are just kind of, he's kind of underrated right now because he got injured and stuff, but he still had a good season last year. He led the league in doubles, or tied for the league in doubles, so. And then there's a Don Magley, 1986 in here, and I really like these 1986 cards, especially if they're in really good shape. They're the black, if I can get this open. This one looks like it's in pretty nice shape. Especially the black and white Don Mattingly. That's a nice looking card. Dansby Swanson rated prospects. And another Trevor Story. Big fan of short stops. And then from Apex Cards, these were just purchases from his auction. I got this green mosaic Gordon Hayward. I like it when the colors match. This green Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar. Then I got a couple of SPs from 18 Ryan Sandberg and uh, Ricky Henderson. Really like those SPs as well. And then Papa J's, this is from a team break. And I had the White Sox and then the Mets. So I got a Luis Robert, Robert, Robert Bowman. A Tim Anderson, green out of Top's Finest, 97 uh, 99 And then just some miscellaneous. I had, like I said, I had the Sox. And then actually I traded the Giants for the White Sox. And the Giants owner, Chris Micro, pulled the autograph. So he bought me a pack of Series 2. And so that was kind of nice of him. So this Lewis Rice, Future Stars is probably the best card. There's a couple of rookies. Rod Crew, Warriors of the Diamond. Some of those Warriors of the Diamond cards are actually going for some pretty good prices on eBay. Not doing too bad. But I'm in Series 2, so really there's only the one Chase card in there. But it was really super nice of him to do that. Thanks, Chris Micro. So, like I was saying, we bought some packs of... Oh, there it is. I bought some hobby packs. So this is all 2020. So this is fifty dollars worth of packs. So I have my I have two LCSs close to me, and the one else the LCS I bought that his pack prices are usually a little bit higher than the other one, but he has more of a selection. So I got this Heritage, Donruss, Diamond Kings, Series One, Series Two, Gypsy Queens, Penny Prism. This is the fast break, not the uh, or and Pro Debut, not the actual other one, the more expensive hobby pack. I can't remember what you call this. They don't call it Prism. Quick, quick Pitch, that's what they call it. Quick Pitch. Not Fast Break, Quick Pitch. So, Quick Pitch. So, the most expensive pack here was this one. It was the Gypsy Queen was $10. And then the Diamond Kings was 7 The Prism was 7 as well. Uh, the 
two tops, the 20 Series 2 and the Series 1 were the exact same price, $5. So definitely get the Series 1 over the Series 2. And I got this Pro Debut, which was, how much was Pro Debut? I think it was only $4 for the Pro Debut, yep. The Heritage was $6. I don't, hopefully we pull something out of there. And a $6 for, or no, $4, what was the, what were you charging for the Donner? $6 for the Donner, so that was kind of high for the Donner. So these two packs were $6, so. There you go. This is was fifty dollars total. So let me think about which one you think is going to be the big hit of the night of the pack. I uh, got this prison, but the prison only got five cards. The Gypsy Queen is the most expensive pack. I'm not sure which one has the highest auto odds. And I think both most of these are. I mean, like the tops is not going to have probably not going to have an auto in it. Heritage, I think, are what two per box. Donners has probably got the highest auto average probably out of all of those, but it could be a memorabilia card as well so hmm I think is Gypsy Queen two per box as well or is it only one per box can't remember now I think that our best pack is gonna be hmm, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Heritage just because I haven't pulled anything big out of Heritage yet so I think Heritage is gonna get be our best one so we'll just go ahead and start off pro debut I'll, I'll set aside the top card from each pack or what I think is the top card so here's our pro debut 2020 I like the pro debut as far as it actually has the minor league uniforms these are all professional baseball players Hawks Logan Gilbert I should have told us I guess which one I thought would be the lowest and I, I would have guessed this one so no none of the big prospects out of that one here's our prism 2020 just five cards in here so we're going to be looking for the same rookies pretty much in all this stuff. Lux, Bo Bichette. There's the Elo Jimenez on the back. There's a numbered card, Sean Murphy, auto. So we pulled our auto out of the prism. It's a nice car, auto. Nice colored, colored auto, numbered auto, so that's nice. And there's the Elo Jimenez. So there's our top card so far. Going to the Diamond Kings, I really like the, I guess you'd say the Legends in here, the old stool. Oh, and the all-time Diamond King cards, I like those too. So that's nice that we got one of those on the back. Burt Blylevin, Abraham Toro, Craig Kershaw, Aaron Nola, Logan Allen, there's a Ty Cobb, that's a nice card. Gallery of Stars, Javier Baez, that's cool looking. There's a the back of the, not a number card. And then there's all-time Diamond Kings, I, love, I think these are just sweet looking cards. I don't know if these come in auto or anything, but that would be really nice that I had an auto on it. Oh, I guess we'll pull something out of there. Not really anything to pull out of there. Yep. We'll just skip that one. Won't be on the list. Definitely nothing beats that Sean Murphy auto out of there. 2020 Donruss. So it looks like we got a spacer. Juan Soto. Oh, looks like we got numbered out of a hundred card. Aaron Judge out of a hundred. Oh, that's nice. 43 out of 100. Well, that might, uh, I think that would take that over the Sean Murphy auto. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Eduardo Escobar, A. Bregg, Mauricio Dupon, Cal Ripken, and a Jose Canseco. So, so it looks like Donruss is in the lead. Personally, for me, let's see what the. I know I picked Heritage because I thought I'd get something big out of here. Let's see how I do out of there. Zach Gallon rookies. Nick Whitgreen's out of high. Nope, I don't think I didn't recognize that card. Tom Seaver then and now. I like that card. Uh, any value to it really, but I really like the card with Tom Seaver on there. Let's see, we got a high number. We did not, so I was wrong. And uh, the, neither one of those, nothing's a, so here we go, top series two. So really just looking for the Lewis Robert. Or I guess we could get a, some kind of auto 1985 style design. I really like those cards. Let's see what we got. Josh Reddick or a numbered card. Dexter Fowler, I always miss the numbered cards here because just a, just this is colored, whatever color, the blue or the pink or the camo. Future Stars, Max Freed. I don't think I have that one. I like to save the future stars cards. I put them in a binder and see how well Tops does with their 
Crystal Ball, Will Myers. It's cool in the car. I really like the photos on the tops. I really like the 22 to 2020 tops. This car's got some ding on the edge just because of the photos. I don't really like the vertical name plate, but pictures are nice. Ooh, there's a Trevor Story PC. There we go. Oh, that's got to go. I know. This is a PC hit, so this is going on the list there. 2020 Series 2. Made it to the list. Top cards out of the box. 2020 Series 1. So this is the one that's loaded with rookies. And these guys are going to get a chance to show off what they can do starting, well, here in, a, what, seven, eight, ten days. Alex Bregman. Let me know if I miss anything, too, as well. Like I said, in the tops, I always miss the numbered cards. Ooh, a Rod Carew. That's a nice card as well. I really like the 85 style throwback. I just like 85 tops, so. So, I used, typically, when I miss those number cards, I always just pick them up when I'm going back through sorting my cards. Seems like even, I like to sort through cards, look at the stats, stuff like that. Even the cards I'm donating, I tend to number or put them in numbered order and everything. I don't, probably, they probably just get all mixed up when they get sent out again anyway, so. So, last pack, Gypsy Queen. Let's hope we can get something big out of here. This was the most expensive pack as well. This was $10. It actually worked out good because the... Prison was the second most expensive pack, and we did pull an auto out of there, so Justin Verlander. And there you go. We got something. Congratulations, Gypsy Queen autographed card. Robel Garcia, second baseman for the Cubs. Rookie card, so a rookie auto is nice. I don't think... Ah, uh, that's an on-card auto as well. So that, uh... Hmm. I got a decision to make there. There's a... Seth Brown rookie card. So right now between my this Robel Garcia auto and this Judge, man, Trevor Story, I really like the 85 toss. I mean, this isn't got any value. I guess value wise, you'd have to say that the Robel Garcia rookie card is probably the most on card auto. I really like this numbered Aaron Judge cards. I just really like numbered cards. I mean, this number the the Seth Murphy's all these Seth Murphy is also numbered as well. 44 out of 50 is a low number, so. Some nice hits, fifty dollars. Picking up some packs. I really like supporting the LCS. It's a really nice thing to do. Like I said, these packs are a little bit more expensive. Some of these packs, I've actually just picked up for cheaper. I think like at the other LCS, that he was selling the Dom for like four dollars a pack. But and then I don't understand 2020 Series One and Series Two. I'd be both be five dollars because 2020 Series One definitely has way more to pull out of it than the 2020 Series Two. But let me know what you think. What did you think the top cards out of the box was? We'll just go, me, we'll go, wow, oh, that's numbered. I'd put the Trevor Story above the Seth Murphy rookie if it wasn't numbered, but it's auto, but it's numbered, so we're going to go that way. Robella Garcia is my number one. Aaron Judge, numbered out of 100, is my number two. Seth, Sean Murphy, Seth, Sean Murphy, numbered out of 50, is number three. And my Trevor Story, 85 tops, just because I'm a Trevor Story fan, is number four. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I got the value at it. Hey, if you're putting comments below, let me know what uh, some of the, Hobby uh, prices at your lo uh, local card shop. Love to know if the, how the prices are different across the country. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Take care out there and good luck.